This is a free art lesson on painting the 3D effects, particularly using uh, flowers as a subject matter. And first of all, I want to show you this photograph. I'm not going to paint this, but you can see that one flower is facing up, one flower is facing this way, one flower is facing off to the side, one is tilting down, and there's a leaf shape over the shape of another flower. So even if you're painting a, a, from a um, bouquet of flowers, I'm going to paint a more simple flower. I'll do it in pink because that'll show up a little bit more. Um, maybe an orange color. But you have a flower that's looking right at you. So let's do a daisy type shape. And we'll have the center of the flower. And then we have these petals coming out from the center of the flower. And they're all pretty uniform. Let me reestablish the center. So you know that this flower is looking pretty much right at you, especially if this center is round. The rounder the center, the more it's looking straight at you. Now, in order to get a very 3D effect on this flower, let's turn it and face it this way. So instead of a round circle in the center of the flower, we really have more of a half circle. And the petals coming out of the back side of the flower might still be coming out like this. But the petals on this side are foreshortened. And they might be coming out just where you can just see the ends of the tips of them. And then you would have the stem of the flower coming down. And here we'll have a stem coming down. If you add a little darkness to the center in here, you can also create a, a little bit more of a, a feeling of volume. You also um, can have a, a flower that's actually drooping, where you're starting to see some of the back of the flower. And in that case, you have the you have actually the stem, and the back of the stem is it's connecting to the back of the flower. And then you can have the petals that are coming out from that, coming down, and you know, you'd see some of the dark petals on the other side that are coming down. I'm making those a little darker because they're in shadow under there. So you have you have three completely different shapes to the same flower. And so often I see these daisy-like flowers being painted where everyone looks exactly the same. Also, if you overlap a little bit, where this flower is in front of this uh, stem, um, a leaf might come up behind a flower over here. That also will give that 3D effect and give you more volume if you see this a leaf coming out there. Um, you start to get the feeling of volume in a painting. And varying the color of the petals can also give you more um, shape and volume. But primarily, I would say, be careful to not imagine what a daisy looks like and paint every daisy or every flower like you think it looks. Look at it, foreshorten it, lose some petals, um, and take advantage of the ways that you can move the flower and turn the flower in order to create more interesting uh, and more realistic flowers. I hope you've enjoyed this free art lesson and that I will see you on one of my teaching DVDs.